So where I'm going with this, Terrence, is, is, is back in the 80s. And, and again, so I, I got into metal in the, in the mid 90s. Like a lot of people, it's like Guns N' Roses was my, we talk about gateway bands, you know, it's right, sort of like, right, you, right, right. exactly. You go Gunners, you go like, Metallica, then off you right. go, you know? Yep. That, and was, so, that was like Iron Maiden and stuff for me. Iron mm. Maiden and uh, Judas Priest and things like that. Those, those bands are obviously just heinous gateway bands to things to, to come, you know? So in, in, in the eighties then, and, and where I'm going with this conversation is from my understanding, when we go sort of, what, what is that? 30, 34 years in the past now. Yeah at the time it was just kind of considered heavy metal so do you remember when the genres began to sort of split off into this family tree because it was sort of like maiden sabbath priest deep purple and all of a sudden metallica comes out and that sort of seems to be like a first point with kill em all of where it, we start getting this divergent path almost yeah i i man i i think that you know when it came down to like let's say because we all knew about heavy metal and rock and roll you know at that point in time you know ozzy osbourne diary of a madman blizzard of oz um you know deal last in line um you know early maiden records killers things like that which even though that like you know killers and those early maiden records were almost punk rockish you know they still were kind of considered heavy metal and i think for me I mean, to coin the term thrash metal, I think Metallica kind of coined it. Like, mm -hmm. because when I heard, you know, when I heard Ride the Lightning, which is the first record I had heard from Metallica, so I was late, you know? Mm -hmm. I didn't have Kill em All before that. I listened to it after I had heard Ride the Lightning. And I was like, I guess, I don't know, what, 16? Maybe 15 or 16? And um, we were like, man, this thing, will, you know, kind of wreck your neck thrash metal i was like thrash metal we need to hear more of that and like we'd have like public uhf stations on the tv so we had this one here called u68 and u68 was like the power hour and i'm not sure if it was canadian or not here in new york i'm not sure if it was but they they had thor they had lee aaron they had Dora. Thor. <laughs> yeah they had, that's uh, not a name i hear very they often had they razor say. They had Razor and a bunch of other bands. And like when Razor and when Razor, like I seen that video for Evil Invaders, and I can't remember even I was a fucking kid, you know? Yeah. I was like, this is just the greatest thing I've ever heard. And it just literally opened up my whole mind to like so many other different bands. So at that point, you know, every weekend we were at the mall going to all the record shops, looking for things that had crazy different album covers on it. You know, if it had an explicit warning on it, that was the first thing we were buying. <laughs> so, you couldn't look at the cover and it was gory and shit, stuff like that. It would have had to have been Canadian then because both Thor and Razor are in... in, in yeah, and I, I mean, back yeah. then, that was like thrash metal. And obviously, as I, I was telling you, you know, we had our local radio station here. And uh, when we went up there, there was we were exposed to less like whatever that radio station had sent to them, you know, through the mail. So it, it kind of opened up a lot of things like bands like Hyrax and uh, uh, Messiah and, um, you know, the Cryptic Slaughters, the, the Wehrmacht, yeah. Autopsy, you know, because being that young and at the time we weren't really playing out of state, everything was like, you know, a mailing list at your show. Like you'd sign up for it, you'd get a flyer, or maybe you'd go over to the merch booth and buy a CD. And everything from that point was tape trading. Mm. So, you know, that was how I was exposed to more slowly, but surely more, more music, more, and more thrash metal. Now we just get all that through the internet, you know, we yeah. don't get the physical copies and you're not having to take a self-focus set or a CD you burned and put it in the mail and send it to somebody. <laughs> 